welcome back to the last episode of the equipment slash clothing system. Um, only things that are left for us to do is fix some errors with the current items that we have and also in the next videos we are going to do our weapons system but for the clothing system for now this is going to be it if you have any more uh, suggestions and desires that you want me to teach you guys then leave a comment down below and I'm gonna get to that in the following videos so let's begin so we really haven't done any checks to see what we have in these slots so we need to make sure we do that so I'm gonna make some more space right here and I'm gonna get the equipped helmet in this case and I'm gonna check I'm gonna break it first and I'm gonna check if the name is equal to nothing and if it's equal to nothing like we have in our empty item then we're not going to do anything but if it has a value if it's false if it's something else than an empty string then we are going to unequip it so I'm going to copy these nodes right here paste them in here do the false connect these and I'm gonna get equipped armor there we go like so there we go just gonna go up a bit oh not this one and I'm gonna do the same thing for this one paste this in to the false connect this move this down get equipped pants and the same thing for the last one So we get equipped boots, like so. We compile and save. Go to the inventory. We shouldn't pick up any items anymore. That's right. And now let's fix the icon issue. And the issue is also very, very simple. It is because we don't check anything over here. So. Let's, well, actually, we need to do exactly the same check as we did in the previous ones. So I'm just going to select these nodes, move them out like so. And I'm going to do a check if this is equal to nothing, to an empty string. If, actually, I should move these out even more. so so right here if this is empty we're not doing anything but if it's not empty then we are emptying it and now we're gonna do the same thing for this like so actually I want to do it like so so if this is empty then we are doing this Actually, let's co disconnect all of these. And I'm gonna connect like so. And on false, we are changing the icon. On true, we are not changing the icon. Like so. So, what's basically is happening is that we are checking if our equipped helmet's name is equal to an empty string and if it is empty string we are not changing the icon if it's not an empty string then we are changing the icon to this specific one and now we need to do a if this is true so we're not changing this but we need to connect to this one so true goes into this branch and same goes for this set brush from texture it connects to this branch and it goes all the way like this true in and set texture in except for the last one so that should do this part i guess 
Let's test this out. Yeah, there we go. So the icons are fixed. But we still have one more small issue, which is that we can put on our shoes. We can put other shoes, but the first ones just disappear. And same goes for our jeans. The other ones just disappear. We are only left with four items, which is not good. So let's go and fix that. So what we can do now is go to our equip item and now we need to check before we set these we need to check if they are actually empty. So how do we do that is by dragging in, oh, let's start with the helmet, let's drag in our equipped helmet. Before we set it we are breaking it and checking if the name is equal to empty string like so and if it is empty string then we can set this item so like this there we go and if it's not an empty string uh, in here we already have removed our item so we are just going to pick it back up so add item add item inventory function like so and we are just adding our item which we could do another reroute here and do it like so or even better yet we could move this up a bit because we are going to use this for all of our falses so now we can copy these nodes connect through connect false and execution pin to the armor let's copy this again same pattern true is setting our equipped pants and false is going to add our item back to the inventory and execution to the pants and one last time true is setting our equipped boots false is adding our item back to the inventory and execution to boots and now we just need to put in our equipped armor here equipped pants over here and our equipped boots over here and this is a really really messy blueprint so let's fix this up a bit to make it look nicer and we're gonna do this by actually make a reroute node over here where all of my falses will go like so and then we are setting this and this like so and we're gonna leave that right there yeah, I guess that's gonna be alright so there we go Compile and save. Now, I think this should do it. Let's pick up our items. Press I. Let's do the shoes. There we go. We can't do the other shoes. We already have one. So let's remove them. Do the shoes. And there we go same goes for the jeans we already have jeans so we can't equip another one but if we remove the jeans we can take the other ones awesome so that's going to be it for this video and in the next video we are going to add our first weapons and eventually we will do some damage to our building structures which we created in the first videos. So see you guys in the next episode.